what is going on guys anger collections in the house for another video all right so today we're gonna have a nice conversation about modern horizon 3 man hot topic today because oh man have you guys seen the cards in the set watsy knows man watsy knows how to get into everyone's wallet and you guys you guys notice what they're doing man you guys know they're they're very very smart uh, as far as like the the cars that's um that's in the set it's it seems like they're going back to all all the popular cards you know highly played cards and they're making a twist on the certain cards that's gonna be i mean come on man you guys come on siege gang commander you know like all the um what is this the the red elemental blast really um null mold drifter there's so many so many cards that's like almost really close if not the same as the, the original version of the cards come on like blood moon um i think the the free spells yo yo the free spells oh man i think blue has like a lot of great cards again i think merfolk um i think there's like a blue moon i think right this is gonna be i think modern horizon 3 is gonna be a very very dangerous set man i think it's gonna be heavily heavily opened i mean you guys can already see and notice some of the boxes are like going up because of every time they release uh new previews new leaks i mean boxes are like selling out man commander deck selling out um i won't be surprised if the the prices of these boxes keeps going up man and yeah uh, i think in my opinion it's there's gonna be a lot of big wins and also gonna be a lot of big losses in this set because Oh man, I think a lot of people will overpay in these just to just to get, you know, like you know, sometimes when when your wallet says no, right? And your cardboard addiction, you know, magic addiction says, Oh man, you know, you know what? I don't care, man. I just wanna open the product. I just wanna like get that chase, get that fetch land, you know? Um man, there's gonna be a lot of people overpaying this just to like experience it and you know what i mean it's a great set you know there's gonna be a lot i'm telling you now a lot of great cards in the set i mean eldrazi come on man it's like it's ridiculous man and there's these a lot of these small little commons and uncommons in the set that will eventually um you know a long long you know um Probably in the next couple set will be viable, will be played, and yeah, it's. I think, I think in my opinion, uh, if you were to, to um, if you're planning to to, to buy um, Modern Horizon Three, I think um, it re it it feels modern esque, you know how Modern Horizon, um, but at the same time we're in a different world man yo we're like these are like super expensive boxes and i think in a few weeks it might it might go up um, but at the same time after uh, everything settles down i think um we'll see the supply we'll see the waves how the waves goes um it 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 it, it will definitely dip a little bit though but i don't think it's gonna dip like you know like play boosters uh, they're right around what 230 270 it might be under 200 but i highly doubt because there's so much great cards in the set man so many great cards uh the collectors uh same thing uh i think we, we might see uh i don't know man below 300 but i highly highly doubt bro i highly highly doubt because if collectors are you know same thing as like the collectors before it might stay 350 400 even man so i think i think i'd say uh, i just like have a 
uh, a small comment about the the play boosters and collectors, right? I think WotC should really, really think of making play boosters more affordable. Uh, what they what they should think of is like maybe all the the flashy, all the uh, extended, all the different variants. I think they really should put all of that in collectors. Uh, maybe put just a little bit though in play boosters, uh, so that you can make the play boosters more affordable. Let's just say right now, uh, Cool Stuff Inc. Like I said, they're I think they're bot play boosters. They're like two seventy nine. And that's like at the high end, uh, but if if WOTC, uh changes the what's what's in the play boosters, uh, I think they can make it like even below two hundred in the beginning. Like they just say one seventy nine, you know, like or even at two hundred. Uh, but um, of course, it might it might be even lower if it's just like pure play boosters. There's no fancy, there's no like nothing, or maybe just a little bit, but for the most part, it's all just game pieces. All just if you want to have all these uh, regular cards, go play boosters, man. Go hands down, draft the set, mass box, open the set because it's affordable. Or, like, you know, if it's like 160, 180, right? A lot of people will open the set, and then if you want to ball out, you want to. The high end, expensive, serialized cards, you know, confetti foils, textured. Then you go um, 450 collectors because it's it's all there, man. You're gonna open, you're gonna have fun. All the expensive cards, you might, man. It it might even go up on you know, like 500, man. I mean, we've already seen boxes this high, you know. I mean. M MTG thirty is like one k one pack. I mean no, yeah, one box. But I think I would probably go that route in my opinion because, like I said, people that want to ball out go hands down collectors, and then people that want the game pieces will go to the play boosters for all the prints, all the regular cards. Maybe there's a few extended. But nothing crazy. You can't get it. You know the texture, the serialized cards, and in that way, both ends are happy, right? So that's just a uh, a quick uh, a quick thing for me. In the, that what I notice in uh, in these boxes because man, two seventy nine for a play booster is whew, so expensive, man. That's that used to be the the price entry point for. <laughs> For a master set, man, which is crazy. And I know back then, back then, there's no collector boxes, but oh man, two seventy nine for play boosters. And uh, looking at the the history between um, uh, Modern Horizon two, uh, so set boosters, you know, thirty packs, um, you know, it's like heavily open set, and it's they're still printing MH two. I mean, it's still over 200, man. It's like sitting at 220, 230 for a set boosters. So if if this set is, I don't know, man, uh, better, if not, you know, that, like the same, uh, we're, we're probably not going to see uh, below 200. But who knows, man? Who knows if they're going to heavily print this set too? Uh, I think they will, though, because, man. The set is insane, bro. The set, there's almost obviously there's like uh you know a lot of cards that are like duds as well. Um, but there's so much great cards in the set, man. And it's not all like revealed and like it's not all out yet there. And we're already seeing like boxes, commander decks getting sold out, you know, play boosters at even at high prices, everything's oh man, and not to mention. Not to mention a lot of the cards, the older cards, that's getting pulled out of the bulk bins. All of these like random Eldrazi getting bought out in the market. You know, you'll you'll see it, you'll see it, and then 
some of the the commanders are getting updated uh a lot of uh new decks coming out uh new specs oh my god a lot of new specs in the market man it's it's crazy and man sometimes this is like the the best time to like really hold on on your collection hold on to your cards because like some random common from invasion some random common from like apocalypse will just like oh there you go you know, 10 cents to like freaking five dollars but all in all i think i just want to say uh, be careful out there man uh i think if you really want to buy mh3 um I w i'd say like hold on to your fomo because i mean it might go a little lower um because man it's so expensive and it's it's really expensive if and if you really just want like a few cards i would just probably just buy the singles uh let the people that want to ball out you know spend all their money and then like have them buy list or sell in the system and then in that way those cards will get you know will go down in price um but man if you have the money yo man Damn, if if I want to ball out, bro, this this is like a one of the set for sure. Like ball out collectors, um, I really want to, but you know what I'm saying. Like my my cardboard card opening box opening addiction uh, says yes, go for it. Uh, but man, my wallet says no, man, because like it's not it's not it's nothing like um. You know as a player and collector man i run a business now it's not it's, you know i know it's gonna sell uh definitely i'll buy uh, boxes to open for the channel uh, sell uh, singles in my tcg player store anger collections shameless plug uh, but man i know i open like a hundred vips you know spending ten thousand uh on uh, double masters 2022 same thing with commander masters we'll see about we'll see about mh3 we'll see we'll see about a um, big opening uh, but who knows man who knows so yeah that's gonna be it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please consider liking and subscribing hit that bell notification so you don't miss any video and with that anger out boys peace